Hey guys, Alex is again here, and uh, today I have for us a quick break from TV video. Um, so today we're going to be going through Terminus. Um, it's not really a guide per se, I mean, because it is towards the, the end of Frontier Hunter. I think it's in the last day or so, um, but it's more so just a, a showcase for my team. I mean, you can use it as a guide for future, future uh, Frontier Hunters, because I mean, this team's going to be pretty good in the future, I imagine, as well. So I'll quickly run through my team. Um, we've got Anima Shida, SPB Team with Leg Wand. Anima Rosetta, SPB 10 with Leg Wand and Soul Creator. Breaker Shida, SPB 10 with Leg Wand and Heavenly Bud. Um, I recently swapped out Soul Creator for Heavenly Bud. I haven't actually tried Heavenly Bud yet, but um, Shida's probably my main mami uh, damage dealer in terms of uh, overkill damage. So um, that should probably, it's probably going to double the damage he does. Because uh, for anyone that doesn't know, the Heavenly Bud doubles damage during Spark. Or increases by 100%, it's basically the same thing. Um, got Dougie in here, good old Dougie. He's Guardian, um, he already has really low attack, but Guardian's gonna mean he has even reduced, further reduced attack. Um, he's got uh, Magris' Sphere on him, which uh, increases HP and defense by 30%, and also something else. And uh, also, you might notice here, um, He's only SPB level 1, and the reason that is because I don't want him doing any damage at all, really. Um, he's mostly in here for extra spark points um, and BC production, so he's handy to have. And then we got Lario and my SPB 10 with leg wand. So uh, let's go do it. Let's try out a new method. So I've been consistently getting around 2.2 mil, hopefully. You can get something around there for this one. So, I've always been taking the Marauder set. Um, I found that you get more points at the first stage that way. I mean, you only, you only really need to use items in that first stage. So, uh, this is our frame we're taking. It's got uh, Dendalga and Heavenly Bard, I think it was. Yep, so, that's going to give him 150% extra damage during Spark, so it's extra. Two and a half times damage. So, uh, let's lose up all our fusions at the start. Yushida for elemental, Fever for extra BC production, Lago and Shira. Chuck the others in. In the past, I've uh, usually gone with one turn kill squads. And uh, that's just because I'm going for like efficiency, time efficiency. But in this one, uh, since I wanted to rank up a bit higher, I'm going for more uh, gem efficiency. I've only used a couple of gems so far because I've really been trying to make the most out of my points. Make the most out of my orbs, each trying to get the highest amount of points, I should say. So we just want to bring these guys down to as low as possible without wiping them out. Oh, don't die, don't die. Oh. Can't even see how much HP he's got. Tiny. That was really lucky. Um, yeah, we're just going to go for pretty much try three turn kill at all of them. Bring them down as low as possible on the second turn. And then on the third turn, we're going to do as much damage as possible. Um, and just get a lot of overkill points, bonus points as well. So, uh, Rosetta's 80% spark buffs already in play, plus same as Shearer's, and then we're going to finish off with Douglas just to help everyone spark well at the end. Um, yeah. So, that should give us pretty good points. 220 maybe. Yeah, roughly. Pretty close. It's a pretty good start. Um, and this one's basically the same, except we've got everyone to use now. So I bring them down as high as possible in the first two turns, and then uh, go all out. Ooh, might have done too much damage here. This spell's a bit funny, because they heal after the first turn, so it's like, hard to judge how much you should bring them down.
So we want to keep an eye, since pretty much all these, all my units have AoE, um, I want to keep an eye on the one, the enemies with the lowest HP. That time I just used um, Shiri's BB because it's only a single target. Because uh, Luca had a bit more HP than the others. So there we go, they're all about roughly the same. Ooh, paralysis is bad. So you probably notice I don't have any um, status element remover fighters. Um, but I found that just using these uh, pure elix isn't enough. If I do end up, I try not to use items, but if I have to, then I might as well use um, an attack elixir on the third turn just to increase damage because I'm pretty sure that stacks with uh, Shiru's attack buff. Cool. So, uh, my leader is Rosetta as well, in case you guys didn't notice. As much as I can, I try to take uh, Fever Friends. Um, I've tried Lario, taking a Lario friend and a Rosetta friend before, and they can also get me around 2 million points. Not quite as good, um, but yeah, it still works fine. It's only really the, uh, the first and the stage after this, um, where you don't, when you come up against one enemy, that fever really helps. Because, uh, yeah, it means it's enough, you get enough BC um, to, to get everyone filled up, even off one enemy. So. Fever's awesome. Still have to raise mine up. I've got a Guardian, but um, it's still only 6 star for now. So they're pretty even. Um, do a bit of spark, try not to do too much damage, and then we'll be a bit careful. A bit more careful. So hopefully, no one crits. I've had that happen before, and it's kind of stuffed me up. <laughs> Happens all the time, actually. It's when you need them not to crit, they crit. Oh, paralysis, always. So I'll go use the attack elixir as well. Now I'm just going to ham. Okay, so so far so good. Um, I find if we can be around 1 million by the end of this stage, um, on the right track for 2 mil overall. So again, start off with the cheater, fever first for uh, BC production, and then just everyone else to help spark well. Probably should have used uh, Rosetta's BB there. Oof. Ooh. That's taking them down a lot more than usual. Hmm. It should be alright. Oh, I was it is. Because of a few break. So, okay, I'm back. So, uh, sorry about that. I had some French backpacker trying to sell me some of his uh, artwork. <laughs> Doesn't happen every day. Oh, don't die. Okay, good. Oh, 
Ooh, didn't get too many base here back. That's pretty much because no one sparked, except uh, Douglas at the start. So, yeah, might as well do that, and uh, yes. Yeah, I suppose we just go for it with what we have left. Probably not as many points as what I'd usually get. Um, that was pretty much because we did too much damage at the start. Probably 100k or so. Usually get around 120, 130. Yeah, 100, bit low. So we're at least around a million. Um, if I was around 1.1, it would be looking good for around 2.3 mil overall. But we'll be struggling to get there now. Should still be in good stead for around uh, 2.2 mil. Mm, too much damage the first turn. This uh, French fever. Too strong. Oof. Don't die, Shida. Please don't die. If anyone dies, it's an instant loss of 50k. Um, again, the survival bonus. So let's focus on Faris. Or just at least monitor Faris. One for loss HP. Ooh, crit on Priscilla. We're down pretty low. So let's use single target on Amelia and we'll attack with Fever as well. Bring that down close to the others. Okay, cool. Nice. As long as no one dies here, we should be should be alright. I've used a lot more of these uh, pure elixirs than what I usually would have. Hopefully it doesn't hurt us in the next stage. So let's get rid of that. Defense down doesn't make a that's not an issue at all. It's just the attack down. Not going to get as many overkill points. So we want to get rid of that. On the next stage, we could be in a bit of trouble though. Not having enough pure elixirs left. I haven't had this problem before, but um, hopefully we just get lucky enough. Now I've said that, we're, we're definitely going to be screwed. So around 300k, not too bad. So Loden's got the least amount of HP, so we'll monitor him. Oof. Oof. So it probably looks like we get a couple of attack downs. At least no paralysis, no defense down. And Sheeta with the attack down. That's alright. Again, probably did too much damage that first turn. Yeah, that's alright. Focus on our Sergio a bit because he's got a lot more health. Uh, a lot more health than the others. There we go. Ooh. Oh, curse! No. Double curse, dang it. Okay, so we're gonna have to clear up the curse, that's the most important. I think um, Shida still has the attack decrease, the broken broken sword, but he's the only one, so overall not too bad. And then now uh, just finish up.
decent amount of sparks. So hopefully from this we get at least at least 300,000 to 320. Hmm. A bit low, but it's alright. Still not too bad. By the time I used uh, Rosetta's BB gauge instead of her uh, SPV, because I don't want to do too much damage the first turn. I mean, this Beaver and uh, Shiro are doing too much damage on my spa. Oh, sweet. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oof. Sweet. Okay, cool. So, he's gonna remove all buffs here, which is fine because once we use Sheeta, everyone else is gonna be back where they were. So, we go for a different order. Different order because they removed all buffs, and we wanna get uh, Rosetta's Spark buff out straight away, and then followed by Shira's attack buff before going for Fever and Mario. It's the last turn, so BC doesn't matter. So, I used our uh, Fever in the middle there for good Spark points. So we should hit 2 mil once we get this. Ooh. We're going to be close to 2.3. I think we'll be just under 2.3. But maybe a new record. Fingers crossed. Ooh, we're going to be just short. Just short. Ah. What's that, 12k off? Dang it, so close. 2.3. Oh well. Still a still a new record. So around rank 3000 with what well, looks about around eight hours to go. Um that's not what I wanted. So I believe they increased it from the top uh, five hundred to three thousand. So now it's the uh, 1,000 to 5,000 place. It's the uh, plus four. So this should be, I should stay within here. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to, to keep up. Which means it'll be the first time I'm getting plus four. So I'm at 23 right now. Because um, I, I barely played it all last last Frontier Hunter. I was so busy. So plus four. Two Spirit Frogs, Malice Jewel, which is awesome, Demon Core, and Divine Blade. Pretty nice, and then hopefully uh, four more, the ones after. And uh, we'll have more Spirit Frogs, Heavenly Bud, another one of them, Star of Hope, and Tesla. Pretty sick. Pretty cool that they've added in uh, a Mighty Imp Ultime. Arton? Arton. Oh, it's different in Japan. Um, and Burst Emperors. So hopefully now they're going to um, release the Imp Parade. That should be coming pretty soon, I reckon. It should be, because I mean... Yeah. These came out after Imperate in Japan, pretty sure. But uh, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, hopefully you got something out of it that you can uh, remember for next Frontier Hunter. Uh, but it's mostly just a showcase of how, I was, uh, how I've been running Frontier Hunter. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.